Hi everyone, I'm Isabel and this is my puzzle diaries. For today's video I took out the three wooden puzzles in my collection. Um, this one is a RGS, it's got about 74 of the figurine type puzzle pieces. These are smaller ones, um, this one only got about, I think about four figurine pieces. This one is the um, the fox, it's got more like seven or eight pieces of the special pieces. I will share my thoughts on these puzzles during the course of the time lapse. Um, I hope you enjoy it and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, first one, RGS. Zebras is the puzzle's name. I sorted out the special shaped pieces that's got the figurines on them. You will see here there is a bit um, of different animals and different items, very fun items in there. So yeah, I missed it the first couple of um, minutes of this process. I put together the frame off camera. Then yeah, this took longer than anything else I've ever done. Um, I, this is actually the second time I, I'm doing this puzzle. The first time took me days, whereas to this one it took me about eight hours the second time around. Yeah, I just started filling it out from the outside in. I left the special shaped or recognizable items on the on the right hand side. So as I proceeded with the puzzle, I sometimes could recognize where an animal needs to be um, put in and I can just look at the shape of the feet or the tail or the ears so those were really um, distinguishable from each other so that made it a bit better to recognize um, which animal needs to go in as all of them did not look the same yeah, basically we I worked here with uh, two colors and variations of their two colors. It's white and brown or white and black and variations of, of brown and, and white. All in all, I had loads of fun. This is um, something I will definitely do again. I am so impressed with the quality of the RGS um, laser cut wooden puddle, puzzles. Um, you will see in the, the upcoming puzzles, the pieces are all a bit smaller. The quality of the um, print is not as good as this one. This one was just a joy to work with. I will definitely do it again or at least try some of the others in the, the laser cut range. Um, you will see as I fill up those gaps, it's a beautiful image. There I've got uh, close-ups of the figurine puzzle or pieces. There's a little sun and there's animals and a tree and somewhere in there there's the word Africa. Oh, and yeah, I think my puzzle was cut upside down. If you look at all these pieces, everything seems to be upside down and I assume somebody made a mistake and it was supposed to be the other way around. But still, it didn't take away from the enjoyment of the puzzle. Like I said, I will definitely do one of the others in the range as well. Next one is the one my sister bought me. It's a small one. The pieces are so, so tiny. Um, it only, what I could see was four um, figurine pieces, two of which are butterflies. One looked like a dinosaur, maybe a dog. I'm not even sure what the uh, pieces represented. Um, both of the laws two took me around an hour to do. Uh, the pieces did not interlock as well as the first one. The quality of the print on this one wasn't that great. Um, I spent a lot of time putting the pieces back together, the ones that are already assembled just to keep it from falling apart because it's so if you touch it everything moves around all in all i enjoyed it i will definitely explore the possibility of more wooden puzzles more brands um hopefully i can lay my hands on some of the better known quality um, wooden puzzle brands out there 
but yeah i enjoyed it this is also my second time around doing this one there's the two little butterflies um i don't know the dog should have also been in there somewhere close up not too bad last one was the fox i enjoyed this one a little bit more than the buffalo um, the colors were definitely better the pieces were somewhat um, uh, brighter better quality print um, it had more of that special figurine pieces in so that made it a bit more enjoyable my favorite little piece there i'll show you at the end is the is the fox and there's a puppy in there oh it's so cute again interlocking not as great it moved around so much i i spent more time keeping everything together than i did um, trying new pieces but um enjoyable um i wish i wish only the fit was a little better did it stay together a bit better i'm not sure if it's only this or is this all the wooden puzzles or if it's only this um imported ones um like I said, the RGS, I didn't have that problem at all, but it is a bigger cut. It is a, a local um, puzzle brand that um, is known for quality. Again, around the hour mark, beautiful. Look how small that is compared to my hand. You can see the gaps between the puzzle pieces there. There's the puppy and a lion and there's the fox. Isn't that the cutest little thing? Yeah, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.